AMC stock is looking extremely healthy right now. We're holding our weight in the 40s. It seems like they can't push us down too far and people continue to buy the stock. This is excellent. But is this going to be one of the same opportunities or one of the same patterns that we've seen before? Do we run off? Do we bust resistance at 48 and then pull back? Or is it going to be different this time? Why would it be different this time? And I believe that yes, it probably will be different this time. So let's discuss why in this video. And of course, if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro, we are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing or if you want to get into AMC or, or Shiba or any of those cryptocurrencies for that matter, use the links down in the description below, sign up for Weeble, it is super simple and you're going to get a couple free stocks just for doing so, so make sure to take advantage of that. Let's talk about AMC and why this could potentially be different than anything we've seen in the past. There was some confusion. There was some concern among our, our viewers in the live stream today. And if you don't check out the live stream, make sure to check it out every day, 11 a.m. Eastern time and then 3 p.m. Eastern time. We go live. So make sure if you got any questions, come get them answered. It's a very interactive Q&A. But one of the most, one of the, I don't know, most relevant concerns that we saw is we've seen this before. We've broken resistance. We come back down. We test it. We test support. We go back up. We test resistance. We come back down. And it seems that people get tired of this price action. But one of the main reasons we saw this type of price action in the past was because day traders and swing traders were running wild in AMC. They bought AMC stock with no intentions on holding it. They bought AMC stock with every intention on making a 10% gain or riding it up to those technical patterns and then going ahead and selling it. Once you reach a moving average crossover or once the stock reaches a certain price target, then they get out. Then what do day traders do? They get right back in. This is the type of action we've been seeing since January. Since since AMC busted its way out onto the scene when it ran from $2 to $20 back in January and everybody was talking about it. I mean, you had mass media talking about it. You had social media talking about it. Everybody wanted to get a piece of AMC because of the volatility. Guys, I don't know if we I don't know if you realize how much volatility attracts day traders. They feed off that. Volatility is like a, a beautiful carcass waiting to be just devoured by vultures out there. And yes, I'm calling the day traders vultures, right? They see the volatility and they come swarming. They need a piece of it. That is exactly what was taking place on AMC stock over the last several months. Now that we've seen the FOMO run back in June kind of calm down a little bit, we've been trading sideways back and forth between like a $30 and $40 range for several months now. What do we notice? We notice that volume is declining and declining volume indicates what could be happening is that these day traders and swing traders are leaving us alone. They are finally leaving the apes to do what we say we're going to do. Now, it is nice to have the buying power of the day traders come in, but we don't need them. We already own the stock, guys. We already own the supply. So now all we have to do is hold. But when we had the buying power from day traders coming in, they would push the price up a little bit and then they would sell it. But here's the difference now. And this is why I'm getting excited. When the question becomes, will we see the same pattern before? We do not have the same holders as before. Every day that goes along and these, these guys move out, the apes remain I don't want to say, I can't say that we're the majority holders yet. I cannot say that apes are the majority holders. Retail, yes. Well, there's a lot of retail investors that are not apes. But every day that goes on and people get tired and fall off. Somebody made a really good analogy in the live stream today. He said somebody's shaking that banana tree, right? As these people begin to fall off, as these retail traders no longer hold AMC and the true apes are holding it, that means that we could absolutely see 
these prices that we've been talking about seeing since January. Yes, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. It's not going to be easy to get to those higher numbers. But I'm telling you right now, an ape has a much higher probability of holding and resisting that temptation than some day trader who comes in and his every intention is to hold for a 20% gain. An ape, you guys know by now, you've been through it all. If you consider yourself an ape, you have been through it all. You understand the temptation. You understand the, the just pure power that AMC stock has. And you will not settle for anything less than life-changing. And as all of these other guys, these day traders and swing traders, fall off, we finally are able to unlock our full potential. And I'm telling you right now, guys, if we start to bust 48, if we get through that level of resistance, we're looking at 50. If we bust 50, we're looking at 52. And the magic, the magic starts between 55 and $60 per share. You guys can pull the graph out. You can look at it. Look at a daily chart. You can see how much of, of a range of resistance we have between 55 and $60. And if we break through that, all-time highs are on the horizon. Then, imagine this. Instead of the FOMO buyers jumping in at $14 when we bust through that resistance, imagine the FOMO buyers jumping in at $75, $80, $100 per share, and that massive push higher from there. I mean, it's going, it just, it, it should blow your mind. If you saw what happened in June based on a breakout from 1450, imagine what we will see when we break out of 5560 and hit those all-time highs. When these guys are like, "Oh, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have sold at $50 a share. I sh I shouldn't have sold at $30 a share. I need to get back in now." <sighs> AMC stock squeeze is on, okay? Now, when that happens, guys, you have one job. Hold the stock. Do not be tempted to sell it until you reach what you consider life-changing money. We have an opportunity to take every dollar that the hedge funds own because they've written these blank checks with these short shares. So do not settle for anything less than you think you're worth. And I'm telling you right now, guys, whatever the number is in your mind, you're worth even more than that. You've been through so much. Do not sell yourself short. Now, I want to know down in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you think that all of these paper hands are finally falling off and it's the true apes that are still holding AMC and we're here for the AMC stock short squeeze? If so, inspire the rest of us to continue diamond handing AMC and holding out for life-changing money. Now, this button's still red. Make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. If you haven't signed up for Weeble yet, make sure to check out the link down there. You're going to get a couple free stocks just for doing so. And then Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, guys, till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.